हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट क्रॉनिक साइनोसाइटिस द सिम्टम्स ऑफ साइनोसाइटिस इफ दे आर प्रेजेंट फॉर मोर देन थ्री मंथ्स देन वी कॉल इट हैज क्रॉनिक साइनोसाइटिस दिस क्रॉनिक साइनोसाइटिस अकर्स ड्यू टू मिक्स्ड ऑर्गेनिजम्स मिक्स्ड एरोबिक एंड एनारोबिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स chronic sinusitis mostly uh, maxillary sinus is involved first investigation that is endoscopy is done if pathology is found to be present then we do non contrast ct of nose and paranasal sinuses is done treatment is medical therapy we give antibiotics mucolytics and nasal irrigation is done then surgical treatment indication is if there is if the medical treatment fails after giving 3 to 4 weeks then we should go to surgical treatment even after 3 to 4 weeks if medical treatment if uh, medical if there is no resolution then we should go to surgical treatment surgical treatment of maxillary sinusitis includes we have antral lavage then antral lavage is done by antral puncture in the inferior meatus with tilly lids wits trochar and cannula with a with tilly lids wits trochar and cannula we will do antral lavage second intranasal osteotomy is done so in intranasal osteotomy we will make a window in the inferior meatus and with the help of that window we will allow the pus to be drained through gravity okay so that is intranasal osteotomy then we can do caldwell look operation but the treatment of choice is functional endoscopic sinus surgery then the next type of sinusitis which is chronic frontal sinusitis it is treated by one trephination of frontal sinus where uh, we in trephination of frontal sinus we put 2 cm long incision in the superior medial part of the eye and we will drain the pus so if this is the eyes so if these are the eyes then uh, we will make a 2 cm incision in the superior medial this is the superior medial part of the eye and we will drain the pus through that next external frontal ethmoidectomy or haworth lynch operation can be done here frontal sinus is entered via the inner margin of the orbit that is haworth lynch operation then others like we can do patterson operation can be done or osteoplastic flap operation can be done and the most important and the one which is done nowadays is functional endoscopic sinus surgery is also done then we have subacute sinusitis subacute sinusitis we have the symptoms of subacute sinusitis are 4 to 12 weeks and uh, if symptoms persist for 4 to 12 weeks that is subacute sinusitis in recurrent sinusitis if symptoms persists for more than or four sorry in recurrent sinusitis if there are more than or four or more than four episodes of sinusitis for 7 to 10 days in a year then we call it has recurrent sinusitis so this is the ct scan non contrast ct scan which is showing the uh, inflamed sinuses here you can see that the normally this black color is the air but here this sinus is filled with pus and there is thickening of or mucosal thickening is also seen in this sinus okay so this is about chronic sinusitis thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you